Former Green Bay Notre Dame soccer standout Lauren Sesselman is still riding high. She collected a bronze medal at the Olympics while playing for Canada. And Lauren joins me now with more on her Olympic experience. Congratulations, Lauren. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks and, for having me. Um, kind of an unlikely bronze medal because I understand if it wasn't for your mom forcing you to play soccer <laughs> in sixth grade, you would never have that medal around your neck. Uh, definitely. Um, sh I was all basketball most uh -huh. of my life. Um, and then uh, my brothers got me into soccer, and uh, my mom signed me up for the school team, and it was co-ed. Uh -huh. And, you know, I was a little nervous, didn't, didn't play most of the practice until the coach was like, come on, just try it. So I went out there, I threw a boy on the ground, scored a goal, and mom picked me up and like, that's my sport. <laughs> <laughs> Still doing it uh, years later for Canada. Tell me how you got to, to play for Canada. Well, um, in college, um, a friend of mine actually played for the Irish national team because her father was born there. And I was like, oh, you know, my dad was born in Canada. Maybe I can play for Canada. You know, I watched them growing up and love the way they play. Um, so I reached out to them and it took a couple years um, to get noticed. I had to keep sending in video, get my citizenship. Um, and then when the new coach came in, John Herdman, this past September, I got the call in and um, their opportunity started. Yeah, he had really had an influence on you, didn't he? Oh, he is an incredible coach. Um, you know, somebody that tells you every day that you could be the best in the world really makes you believe that and you just go out there and, you know, you just work as hard as you can. And during the Olympics, I mean, it wasn't like you were just in there for a few minutes. You played pretty much every every game, right? Every minute of the last five games, right? Um, yeah, I started at um, my left back position um, for the first two games and then there were some unfortunate injuries and I had to step into the center back role. A role um, I'm not very familiar with so I was a little nervous but um, it, was, it was good. For those who don't know soccer, what is that center back? Center back is basically um, the middle of the last line of defense right in front of the goalkeeper so if you mess up it's your fault. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look over your shoulder and say watch out. Exactly, right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Luckily, you didn't do that too, uh, too much. Um, tell me a little bit about the USA game because, um, you know, the USA team, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a team that's, or should I, I should ask the question, is it a, a, ver a team that's pretty much decided uh, four years previous to that? Or, or, I mean, did you feel like you were closed out from the USA team? Well, I mean, the U.S. team, they're, you know, they're number one in the world. They're an incredibly talented team. I've had the opportunity to play with a bunch of them and against a bunch of them, and they're just, they're, they're stars, you know. And so, you know, the world really fell in love with that team and um, expected them to come out on top and didn't really expect us to even get where we got. Um, and just to come out and play against them and to a 4-3 battle, we were up yeah. almost the whole game. And in the final seconds, they came out with the win, but it was the most watched game actually in the world over the Super Bowl, everything wow. like that. So just to think that women's soccer has come that far is pretty incredible. What did it feel like on the podium? Oh, amazing. It was, it was so surreal. I, I was just looking at the crowd. There was like 95 plus people there all cheering and just looking at you. It's just, I'm like, is this, is this real life? Like, this is amazing. Taking, take, took it all in, I, I assume, right? Oh, definitely. Got lots of pictures. Um, now, what's next for you? Because I know the World Cup is coming up, but you have things going on right now, right? Um, yeah. Um, you know, my eyes are set on, on the 2015 World Cup because it's in Canada, which will be great to play in front of them. Um, this fall, I'll be here on and off and working on a few side projects. Um, I really love... Um, acting, so I might get into that involved a little bit in that because we have some time off. But soccer is definitely number one um, in my heart. Um, but I'm also be doing private and small group um, lessons around the area. Oh, so great! Yeah. Uh, and as far as you're concerned, next for you, will you be going overseas and playing soccer, or how does that work? Um, well, we have a little break right now, and then the um, Elite League that's coming back in the U.S. is starting up um, this spring. So either I'll play in that, or I'll play overseas, um, just kind of figuring out what I want to do with my agent right now. So I know a lot of kids who play soccer around here, and there are a lot of kids, 6th, 7th graders, 8th graders, even 1st graders playing soccer, mm -hmm. but they really get serious when they're in middle school and such. Um, what would you say to them at this point? Um, basically, I got serious around that time. Um, I started going on a travel team. Actually, in high school, I went and played in a team in Milwaukee two hours away every day. My parents drove me down there. Oh. But it was something I knew that I wanted. I mean, if, it, if you have a dream and it's something that you want, um, you just go out there and you give everything you can to achieve it. Um, you know, I never gave up. Even people telling me I wasn't good enough, you know, you're never going to get there. I said, you know what, I'm going to try and I'm going to have no regrets. So that's what I definitely would say to those kids. Just go out and have fun. And sometimes you win a medal, right? Yep. Yeah, right, very thank lucky. You. Thank you very Thanks much for, for joining me. us and good luck in your future. Thank you so much. We'll be back.
on Good Day Wisconsin, and that's a great picture. Wow, that is excellent as we go to break, and we'll be back with more on Good Day Wisconsin.